All right, good afternoon. Here with Jackie, a girl I went to college with back in the 1800s, and her daughter, Marin, in the back. And it is apparently ice cream time. So we are going to Cliffs. Yep. After uh, Jackie and her husband, Scott, uh, decided to cook the most fabulous meal that Marin didn't eat. She only had four little shrimps. Sorry. But, uh, but we're heading for ice cream. So... That's it for right now, and you know we'll get a picture of the ice cream later. All right, we'll see you. All right, good morning, good morning trail actually comes down that road after coming uh, down the hill there but this is a kind of a neat place big old hotel deer head in I guess it's called now but pretty cool place um, pretty historic here uh, there is a lot of kind of just neat neat things right around here uh, cool old buildings built in 1906 or good lord earlier uh, on a building that we were walking down by the other day it was uh oh, hold on a minute let me turn this around all right good morning again hey uh, uh yeah a lot of the buildings old 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 and uh thanks to the church of the mountain hiker center uh great place and i can only apologize for uh actions of other hikers I know it says uh, no alcohol, but some of the dumb young kids drinking, and you, you say something and they get all pissy about it. So, it is what it is. Unfortunately, somewhere down the line, that's what's going to, uh, oh, that's a cool place, look at behind me, the Castle Inn. Anyway, somewhere down the line, you keep pushing, you keep pushing all these little buttons, Instead of just going to a bar and drinking there, you have to bring beer back to the... You're going to burn it. It's going to burn it for everybody else. And pretty soon there's not going to be any any little hiker retreats, any little hiker spots in towns because of that. Anyway, that's my uh, Sunday morning rant. Speaking of Sunday, you going to church today? I actually just left the church. Anyway, so uh, looking at probably... 15 to 18 again today, no shelter, um, and this it's going to rain. It's going to rain. No doubt in my mind, I'm going to get rained on today. Just has that feel, you know, all that stuff. Just, I'm going to get wet today. But, it is what it is. So, it's the AT. The nice thing is, getting out of Pennsylvania. Seven down, seven to go. So, that's kind of nice. Kind of a nice little idea that we're halfway through the states, 895 miles to go, 1,295 miles in. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. But, so, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, extra, extra big shout out to Jackie, a uh, girl I went to college with that hooked me up yesterday. Came out to visit or came out to get me so I could go back to their house and visit while I was there. Did laundry. They went to the grocery store a couple times. So I uh, tagged along once to uh, to go get my little resupply. So and then she cooked a crazy cool dinner. Uh, actually, her and her husband did. Uh, grilled the steaks, all that uh, shrimp. All the veggies, all that stuff. So, Jackie, thank you. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. And uh, hopefully this won't be the end of our... Uh, uh, what I not end of, you know what I mean. Keep in touch. That's what I mean. Keep in touch. You have my cell phone now, so keep in touch, girl. All right. We'll catch you when we get to the... Spot on the bridge where I'm no longer in PA. All right, see ya. All right, here you go. Don't know if you can hear this crazy traffic Sunday morning. 
All right, see you, Pennsylvania. All right, now we're on to Jersey. All right, we'll see you guys. All right, just walking past this little spot, little visitor center, parking area, whole little thing going on, bathrooms, all the other fancy stuff, but it's kind of neat. Picnic area, apparently there's hiking trails, uh, canoe, canoe launch and all this other stuff. So it's uh, quite a, Delaware River is uh, quite a well used little spot right here. Neat little cabin for the office though. All right. And we're heading to Blaze, down to Blazes here. We're just following the Blazes down the trail. All right, we'll see you. Sunfish Pond. So yeah, uh, another another hiker just walked by and made the comment that it's been a while since we've seen a lake or a big body of water. Now the Sunfish Pond here isn't too big, but the wind is making the waves laugh on the rocks here. Flowers are kind of still popping off the laurels. It's just nice. Sun's trying to burn through, but isn't having much luck. Just a nice spot. That's all. One of the big reasons why I'm out here is just things like this. Alright, we'll see you at the trail. Alright, this is kind of funny. People got a lot of time to come over here and stack these rocks up. Some of them took a little bit of work. <laughs> Alright, he's still just working our way around Sunfish Pond. Enjoying it. See ya. So here's our Jersey view. Little rolling hills reminds me of up home. Probably that's the Delaware River still. Rolling through the countryside up there. Looks like I can, I don't know, you probably can't see it in the thing because it's too far away, but looks like there's some canoes or kayaks on the river up there. Oh well, so far no rain. Breeze keeping the temperatures down. Nice hiking so far. All right, see ya. All right, just got up to the top of Mount Kittatinny. Still overcast, still windy. But so far, nice hiking morning. Not so much the mountains and everything in the backgrounds, but definitely nice rolling, rolling hills. Alrighty, I bet you that farmland down there by the river is pretty fertile. Oof. Oh well. See you up the trail. All right, a little after, probably pushing one o'clock right about now. Just another nice little view. Oh boy, look at that! Look at that rainstorm way over there. That's a little one, but boy, that's coming down. Anyway, this had a few sprinkles a few minutes ago. Nothing too exciting. But a nice little view here. All right, we'll see you back up the trail. All right, this is Catfish Lookout Tower. Nothing too big. I didn't uh, climb up it just because it's, it might be okay, but. It looks kind of sketchy, so I decided not to. But uh, 
we've already seen some nice views from uh, the Palisades over here so nothing nothing right yet but there'll be some more views because we run this ridge for a little bit longer all right right now we'll take this nice wide trail all right we'll see ya all right just got to this little swampy area and I think it's only swampy because the beavers have dammed this little outlet up they've been chewing on trees and stuff but I think it's I'm uh, really very thankful right now that it's uh, a little breezy because if it wasn't for this breeze I think I might be getting chewed up by mosquitoes but kind of a neat little pond though all right we'll see you all right here we are up on rattlesnake mountain nice little view for where we are again the rolling hills different than where we've been not huge deep valleys but neat rolling hills lots of green this wasn't green when we started Alrighty, almost to a stopping point for tonight. We'll see you at the trail. All right, good morning here at Brink Shelter. Got in a little after, uh, oops, sorry, got an itch. A little after seven last night, um, so didn't really do any filming. Did ended up doing the 25 miles yesterday out of the out of the gap, which, you know, wasn't too bad. Uh, just kept walking. I just pulled the dory and just kept walking. But uh, that's all. Well, today planning on either 15 or 19, uh, depending. And how it all feels. Oh, hold on. Wind's blowing. I want to get the phone wet. All right. Uh, okay, here, here, smile. All right. Uh, lady, uh, section hiker. She's, she's enjoying her, uh, her, her, her couple, three days she's doing out here. Very nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, kind of nice. Jersey for shelter in Jersey. And it is... Uh, bear box, bear pole, or uh, bear box, uh, great privy, whoever taking care of this privy, awesome job. Uh, brand new uh, shelter within the past five years or so, I think. Uh, everything's just nice. So, got a point two back to the trail, but it's not a very, not a very up or anything else. So, it's just kind of a nice walk. But, yeah, um, it was funny that lady back there, she is uh, a little, just a little younger than I am. But was contemplating a maybe doing a hike, a through hike. You know, it is what it is. It is what you make it. I've, if nothing else, I have found that out out here that uh, it is what you make it. There's good days, and then there's better days. So anyway, had a good little chat with her. It was fun. But yeah, planning on either 15 or 19 today. That's where the the difference between those last two shelters, um, 15 or 20, I think it's five miles between those last two shelters. But uh, but that's the plan. Gonna see on terrain. It's uh, it's probably pushing eight eight o'clock right now. Um, a couple are through hikers. Uh, let's see uh, who was in there. Um, Miyagi, Beaver, and ah crap, I forget the other guy's name. But anyway, uh, there was three other through hikers. They were gonna, <laughs> they got there and they were gonna pitch their tent. Then they all looked at the weather and moved in the shelter with me <laughs> because I didn't want to pack up anything wet again this morning. So I sheltered it. Uh, I'm definitely sheltering more than I thought I would out here. But I tell you, packing up wet crap. Uh, and it rained pretty much all night long from about nine o'clock. 
till probably six o'clock this morning. There was rain falling outside. Um, got down cool, as you can see. I have my rain jacket on this morning, just to kind of have an extra layer. But it was uh, it was kind of cool last night when I woke up this morning to start getting around. I can see my breath. That hasn't happened in four states. I think it was Southern Virginia when I could last see my breath. But we'll see what happens. Today's another day. The sun is already trying to poke through. So you know this jacket's going to come off in about first mile. But nice. Good start. Good cool start to the day. Make hiking. Make hiking nice. So... But, hope your, uh, as early riser would say, hope your Matrix Monday is going to go well for you. I uh, appreciate what you got. Enjoy what you have. And, uh, you know what? We'll see you up the trail. Alright, guys. As always, thanks for following along. Appreciate it. We'll see you up the trail. Alright, good morning again. First little view of the day. Tell you what, there are... <laughs> We were discussing it last night in the shelter that we've had more and better views in the first 30 miles of uh, New Jersey than I think we had in the whole state of Pennsylvania. But uh, no, it's nice. Not sure what lake this is, but uh, it's kind of nice. Clouds rolling away over there. Already a little, a little warm. Gonna be taking this uh, rain jacket off here pretty soon. Uh, but it's a nice morning. All right, we'll see you guys up the trail. Oh, look, a little knob with a tower on it. You know that's where we're heading. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. All right, uh, apparently the Sunrise Appalachian Trail Deli is no more. Uh, so, guess we're not going to stop here. But the uh, mileage is right, just about, so that's kind of cool. Alright, this is Route 206, a little crazy, uh, crazy Matrix Monday road here. So, we're going to get across it without getting squished, and uh, get back on the trail. See ya. Alright, view from the top of Sunrise Mountain. Or at least part of the way up. Not sure, but uh, <laughs> probably just part of the way up. But a nice little view. Again, I said it before. Not the same as the big, huge, crazy, deep gorges and everything that were farther south, but nice in its own right. Rolling hills. All right. See you down the trail. All right, I made it up to the top here. Culver Fire Tower. Book says it's locked, so you can't even go up too far. But, uh, let's see what we can do. Alright. Alright, view from the fire tower. Hold on a second. Let me get back over here. Packs on a picnic table. cell reception right now. Alright, there you go. Again, kind of looking a little overcast, but you know what? This is actually not a bad hiking day. A little warmer than yesterday, but not bad. Alright. Let me get down. Probably heading over that way. Why? Because that's where the hills are. <laughs> Alright.
right, we'll see you guys. Up the trail. All right, good morning again. It's late morning, 11.30ish. Uh, just got into the Gren Anderson shelter. Uh, just came in here for a snack and had to get some water. Literally right down there, there's a spring coming right out of the ground. Good, good water. Lots of tenning out back here. Privies right there. Well taken care of, well maintained. Has a bear box, which is always nice. And there are a lot of a lot of the warning papers on the trees in the shelter um, and up by the privy that uh, you are in bear country is what it says. So it also says no fires, but there's a little fire pit. So not everybody always listens. But this is just a little shot off the trail, maybe point one if that. So just came down here, grab a little water, have a snack. Actually uh, worked out good because this is about the time that the wife takes her uh, lunch break. So we were able to chat during most of her lunch break. So that's nice. But just walking back up to the trail. Take about a minute. Um, but that's about it for now. Um, moving on to the next shelter. I'll probably have my, my lunch there. It's five miles up the trail. So there's a couple hours. Trail hasn't been bad this morning. Um, let's see what else. Nothing. No, it's uh, I think it's a uh, new family day on the trail because I have probably seen 25 of the little orange newts on the trail. It's kind of funny. Every size from size of a tiny little paper clip to a lot bigger. So anyway, that's it for now. Get back to the trail and continue on up. So actually, just right back to the trail right now and another little spot where you could put a couple, three, four, three, four tents. So, all right, we'll see you guys back up the trail. Probably get the next uh, next shelter unless something pops up. All right, we'll see you. All right, probably a mile or so up from that shelter. Just a nice little view. And you know me. I walked all 50 feet over here off the trail because I like my views. I'm not sure exactly which direction we're looking. Maybe north, west, back up towards. You know, Jersey into maybe New York, Pennsylvania. I'm not sure where that far, far mountain would be, but nice little view. Turning out to be a beautiful day. All right, see you up the trail. All right, here we are, top of sunrise. I don't know what mountain it was before, but apparently that's the top. Great views. New Jersey is giving up some views today. Neat old pavilion. Good lord, this thing was built in 180 something. That's an old sucker. Kinda neat though. Alright. Take a quick break and move on. Good spot. Good breeze. Alright, see you guys up the trail. All right, all right. Just uh, walked away from that uh, that little pavilion up on top of the hill. Dang, that thing. When you think about that thing, is probably a hundred years old. And the wind, the weather, the stuff that that shelter has seen, what's happened underneath it. A uh, cool old shelter or uh, pavilion. Anyway, there was another. There was a. Uh, Hiker there, uh, his trail name was Major Tom. He was from Mrs. Uh, Mississippi. Uh, seemed like a real nice guy. Um, he had last year he hiked from Springer to. Bear with me, I'm going down some rock steps. Uh, from Springer Mountain to um, Delaware Water Gap, and now he's uh, going from Delaware Water Gap to. Uh, Maine. 
So, uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I guess he said he had to get off the trail last year for whatever reason. Um, but, uh, still, to be coming back out here, get your trail legs all over again. Get your body doing it all over again. Man, we've, I've talked about that with other, uh, other through hikers that, you know, n not once have I, have I ever made fun of any, like, true section hikers. You know, somebody out for a day, whatever, they're wearing their fancy, uh, you know, Nikes and whatever. But, true section hikers that are out here doing their hikes every year, doing 250 miles, doing 300 miles a year, and doing it for, you know, all the years to, uh, complete the whole trail tell you what those guys those girls they're the ones who have to work the hardest because like i said you get out here you know it took me a few weeks a month whatever to get my trail legs and i can just keep on going with that well them these people who will just do two three hundred miles every year they're just about getting their trail legs and they're off the trail again Till next year so I'll tell you I give I give credit for uh, some of those some of those trail those section hikers who are doing some long sections and uh, doing it year after year after year that takes a lot of takes a lot of time takes a lot of effort um, I think it's probably even more effort than a through hike just because you're burning through you're burning through vacations for 10 years. You're burning through time off. You're burning through all this, this time that you've earned or whatever at work. Or just time away from your family every year for a month or whatever. That's a pretty big commitment. So, hats off to those. But, not taken away from Major Tom back there. But, uh, just kind of got me thinking about that. When, uh, when he was talking about... Because, uh, you know, and see, like I said, it seemed pretty cool, but it's his third night out here, and we're, what, 31 miles in, and, you know, so he's, he's, <laughs> he's huffing and puffing, he's doing his thing, trying to get those legs back, uh, where, you know, those of us who started in Georgia, we're just cruising on through, so, anyway, Major Tom, good luck, Godspeed getting to Katahdin. All right, guys, we will uh, see you up the trail. Beautiful day today. Only thing that would be nicer is about a four or five mile an hour wind just blowing through the trees, keeping the, keeping the sweat down, keeping the bugs away. All right, long enough rant. We'll see you guys up the trail. All right, good day, good day. So, lack of anything better to do except just walk, I decided... We're going to make this uh, a theme week, and today's theme is Meet, meet a New Monday, and it's simply a uh, meaning that uh, when you're out here on the trail, of course the big goal is getting to the end of the trail, whatever that is for you, whether it's you're doing a flip-flop, a Nobo, a Sobo, whatever you're doing, whether it's Springer, whether it's Katahdin, or Harper's Ferry in the middle, or someplace along the way. Don't forget to stop and look at the little things. All right? So that's what it is. Today is meet a newt one day. Because those little newts, they're all over the ground on the trail. Make sure that you don't get overwhelmed by the big, big picture. Make sure you uh, notice the little things along the trail as well. All right. We'll see you up the trail. All right, just come out to this little rocky outcropping for another nice little view. Little 
little bit warmer today than yesterday, so a little bit of sweat going on. But still a good day. Not too hot. A little breeze. All right. Not too far from the stopping point for the day. All right, see you up the trail. All right, I'm having flashbacks to Pennsylvania here. Don't like it, New Jersey. Don't like it. All right, this is High Point State Park. This is kind of the, well, we've actually been in it, but uh, this is just the headquarters of it. Cool old building. Um, I built quite a while ago, but kind of neat. All right, it's about five o'clock. Got another two miles to my stopping point for the day. So we're heading there. All right, we'll see you guys. All right, there's uh, the highest point in New Jersey. High Point State Park, that's why it's here, because it's the highest point in New Jersey. Anyway, that's about three tenths, four tenths off the trail. And it's already pushing six o'clock. I'm not going over there. <laughs> but it's a pretty cool 220 feet tall is what the thing says it is looks like a mini version of the Washington Monument but but that's it highest point in New Jersey so I'm gonna continue down this wonderful trail that's covered with rocks and weeds <laughs> all right we'll see you guys all right for those of us who aren't going to walk over to the big tower here's a little wooden platform There's the tower. Oh, there's a, that's what they call Sawmill Pond. I saw a map of that down at the uh, um, headquarters. There's camping. That's a camping area down there. All right, cool. All right. Kind of nice up here, though. It's kind of nice. There's actually people walking around over there. All right. See you down the trail. All right. Good evening. Here at High Point Shelter. Just uh, got in a little while ago, eating some dinner. Uh, ended up doing 20, 20 miles today. Um, nothing too exciting. Uh, a lot of little ups and downs. Uh, right here, kind of nice. Got a stream right down there. Going to be listening to that all night long. So I still haven't looked at the book to see what uh, what tomorrow is going to bring. But uh, we'll see. All right. We'll see you guys in the morning. Bye now. Alrighty, good morning, good morning. Uh, just left the shelter uh, a little before 8 o'clock. I was trying to drag my feet this morning because I've only got about 13 miles to go today. Because I'm going to do a little work for stay at a place tomorrow. And uh, if I go <laughs> two shelters up, it'll just about put me past the place, so I don't want to do that and have to come back, so just going to do a shorter day today, which it's not uh, not going to be too bad, because uh, if you average out the last th three days, 25, 20, and the uh, 13 today, I'm still, uh, <laughs> still uh, almost 20, 20 mile average, so like 19 miles or something like that is my will be my average over three days. So I'm okay with that. Uh, but yeah, today uh, looks like we dropped down a little bit of uh, elevation here, not too much, and then it's gonna be oh good lord, a day, day and a half before uh, I even pop back up above uh, thousand feet. There's a little mountain. I don't know, 20 miles up, I, have, I don't remember exactly where it is. Maybe not quite that far. 
but that's the next place that will pop up over <laughs> a thousand feet of elevation. So that's about it for today, for right now, I should say. Uh, I'm gonna stop at, uh, make a little pit stop in Unionville, New York. It's just, just across the border from the trail, a little half mile off the trail. So I'm uh, gonna do a little quick, only wanna do a couple day, a couple day little resupply out of there. They got a little grocery store, but, uh, so don't wanna spend a million dollars, but gotta have enough to keep going. <laughs> so, but that's it for right now. If, uh, if we see anything good, you know I'm on it. All right, another good, <clears throat> another good shout out to my wife. Uh, this morning or today is our uh, 19th anniversary. So, again, sorry I'm not there, Lens, but uh, you know, in the in the grand scheme of our life together, don't want to sound too, too sentimental and sappy, but in the grand scheme of our life together. This, this little time apart won't be anything big. All right, babe. Love you. Happy anniversary. And uh, we'll see you guys down the trail. All right, bye, guys. All right, good morning again. Let's come into this field. and There's a deer hanging out. Enjoying her morning. His morning, whatever the morning. All right, see you later, Mr. Deer. Oh yeah, really excited, look at that. Went all of 50 yards and stopped. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys. All right, good morning. It is Tuesday, so we're continuing our theme week. And as you can see behind me, there is a crazy huge rock wall that has been here for probably 200 years. Uh, not sure who put it here, but it has lasted that long. Question for you today is, what are you doing that's going to outlast you? Whether you're using your time, money, wisdom, resources, whatever you're doing, what are you doing that's going to last? These stone walls have been here forever, it seems like. Some, are, <laughs> some look better than others. This one behind me is very well laid up, and it's still here standing strong. That's my question to you today. What are you doing? What am I doing? I ask myself that. What are we doing to leave a legacy, to leave something that's going to stand way beyond our, our time? All right. We'll see you guys up the trail. All right, just got onto the road that I'm going to walk into Unionville, and I see this. Kind of nice. All right, we'll see you in town. All right, good afternoon. Nope, not good afternoon yet. Still good morning. And it's uh, coming to you from the front porch at Horler's Country Store uh, in Unionville. Just walked up not too long ago. Um, ended up getting a this is a breakfast sandwich, and over here, that brick red brick building there is Annabelle's Pizza. I'm gonna head there after this to get maybe a couple of slices. Trail's literally half a mile down the road, so it's nothing too uh, not too far to go. Great people in here, uh, friendly locals. Chit chatted uh, for a few minutes. Got my sandwich. You can see it. Where is it? Where to go? There it is. My sandwich is all good. Um, and then it's going to head back to the trail. Only got like five or six more miles to go for the day. So it's not a crazy day. Just doing, like I said, that 13 miles. And that'll set me up for tomorrow. Cool little town, though. But uh, that's it for now. We'll see you up the trail. All right. Bye, guys. All righty. Good afternoon. Walking out of, uh, out of Unionville. Uh, nice little place, really. 
uh, store oilers. <laughs> a little expensive on some things, but you know what? I, I think I spent 20, 25 bucks. I got a full two days worth of resupply plus uh, uh, a breakfast sandwich. So it is what it is. So, you know, you're not going to come out of there with a million bucks in your pocket, but yeah, it's, it's got what you need if this is what you're just stopping to get a couple days till your next stop. Man, the nice thing is, is that everybody there was super friendly, uh, especially at Horlers. Um, I asked if it'd be a problem if I just sat on the front porch and plugged everything in for a few minutes, didn't care, thought it had have a, you know, what well, have at it. Chit chatted with everybody inside, a couple people, just locals. So, everybody was nice. But, now just walking back up the hill to this trail. So, want to get back up there? Got about five, six miles to go. So, easy day. Kind of, I just kind of threw everything in my pack, so I'll have to, I'll have to organize once I get up there. Get up to the shelter for the night. So it definitely, uh, it definitely looks like we're going to get some rain soon. So hopefully it holds off for a couple hours. So that's about all it'll take me to get there. Not a lot of climbing. So hopefully the trail's good. All right. We'll see you up the trail, everybody. Bye now. So a couple different times today. We've been having to, uh, walk through some of these, uh, Oh, big old grassy fields. Kind of nice. It's always a nice change from the rock, rocks in the woods. But, uh, uh-oh. I'm feeling some sprinkles. Yeah, hopefully it won't last too long. But I'm sure that's where I'm heading. Hills. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. All right, good morning, good morning from Ho-Chuck Mountain. Uh, actually, this shelter is just a little bit away. I ended up uh, hammocking out last night because uh, it was such a nice night. A little cool, slept awesome. Um, no critters anywhere, nothing to worry about. I think there was only four of us actually here. Uh, two suction hikers and uh, me and another through hiker who came in kind of late, climbed in his tent and... Never, and actually just walked away about two minutes ago. Never heard a word from him the whole day, whole night. But uh, yeah, some people like their like their solitude. Some people go around and meet people, right, Madeline? Anyway, uh, so yeah, it's about I want to say it's just still before seven or right around seven. I didn't look at the the clock before I started filming, but I'm all packed up, packs ready to go. Um, Doing the seven-ish into uh, the Ricky Farm this morning. However, uh, might be pulling over and checking another place out before I get there. Cause I looked last night, and they open at nine o'clock in the morning. I'm not gonna say, but what they sell rhymes with smush cream. Okay, so <laughs> so uh, there's a there's just a place. It's called Heaven Hill Farms. It's right there, literally at the same intersection where I'm going. Uh, today, so uh, I'm gonna gonna see if we'll pull over there maybe a little bit this morning and uh, and see what I can find. Because uh, some people said they had great fruit selections and uh, some baked goods and and the ice cream. So we'll see what happens. But uh, that's it for right now. Uh, again, nice start to the morning. Cool. Got a little bit of a climb. Can't tell real good by the picture, but it's another another couple hundred feet climb. Nothing too crazy. Enough to warm you up. That's about it. And then uh, then relatively uh, not much. I think we I think we go over Pochuck Mountain, which 
again, nothing, nothing crazy, but hopefully maybe we'll get some views. But other than that, we're good for today. All right, guys, we'll see you down the trail. All right, just got up atop of Pochuck Mountain. And if you look across this valley, you can see that tower way over right there. That's High Point Tower. That's the uh, tower we were on, or we were next to. That's the tallest, highest point in uh, all of New Jersey. And that's where we were yesterday. So, probably came across ridges and down and around and over and up and down. I don't know if you can see it down below is uh, the wildlife refuge that we uh, walked around yesterday. Um, Wall Kill. I think that's the name of it, Wall Kill Wildlife Refuge. But uh, just a nice little view for this morning. All right. We'll see you guys up the trail. So, I'm not sure what this little thing is. I know what it used to be some kind of a building. Because there's actually steps going down. So, this is a basement cellar of some sort. Not a big. Not a big thing. Um, maybe 12 feet long, wide, 20 feet long. Not a big thing. But there is uh, several stone walls that intersect right here. So I'm wondering if this was a farm or, or something like that. But there are. You can see one up there going across that way. There's this one here. So I wonder if this was some kind of a house, a homestead, farmstead of some sort, a couple hundred years ago. Alright, neat to me, so you know I'm going to share it. Alright guys, we'll see you. Alright, I just got to the boardwalk here. I guess this is like a half a mile of this. <laughs> so, through all this uh, marshlands. Oh, oh wow. you can see it going all the way up through. All right. Let's see what we can find in the wetlands. I don't know if you can see her in there, but 10 feet off this bridge, there's a pretty little deer in there. Just looking at me, just hanging out. Ain't got a thing to worry about. There was one right here, but it was a younger one, and she got scared. Actually, she's just over on the other side of that leaning tree just right there but yeah right next to the right next to the trail here apparently they're not uh too awful worried about people because they probably see them all the time all right see you later little deer all right just got over to the end here well the end of a little section anyway but looking back you can see the trail as it meanders through. It meanders right up to this. Nice little suspension bridge. So. Alright, let's go see what's on the other side. I think this is the Wabianda Creek, if I remember correctly. I have a feeling it's been higher than it is right now. <laughs> you can see the banks are pretty muddy. Yeah. Bridge doesn't mouth much. All right. Pick up some more. Oh, you can see it going all the way across over there. Ah, more boardwalk. It's a nice kind of thing, though. All the wetlands here. Alrighty. See you down the trail. Alright. 
across another little steel bridge here. This is Wauwanda Creek. The other creek was the Pochuck River or Pochuck Creek, whatever that was. I forget, but that was that was that one. Now we're at the Wauwanda Creek. All right, not too much farther. Oh wow! A blue heron just flew in and flew out. All righty. See you up the trail. All right, just stopped here at Heaven Hill Farm, a farm market garden center. And you can see they got flowers. They got a ton. Look at these things. Beautiful flowers. Some native, some not. Everything you could possibly want for your gardens. It's crazy. Look at the rose. Look at all these roses. All right. They do sell ice cream here. I already spotted it. I already got it all. Uh... Look at that. Look at how pretty they are. Anyway, ice cream. Oh, yeah, ice cream. I got that already figured out. I know what I'm getting. Just look at all the hanging baskets. Oh, just pretty, pretty. Look at all these nice ones. Alrighty. Oh, look at this different one. Pretty one. Alright. Let's go step into the greenhouse for a minute. Look at all these geraniums. Oh, what is this, some kind of a kiwi? Oh, some kind of a edible fruit thing though. Alrighty. Very nice. Alright. Let's go find some Eatons. Go find some, some ice cream. Alrighty. If you're in the area though, stop in. This place looks pretty cool. Alright, we'll see ya. Alright. Here at Heaven Hill. Neat little thing for the kids to play on. Alright. Got some ice cream. Got a couple of cider donuts. Just kind of hanging out here for a minute in the shade before I head on up the trail. All right. I will say it isn't. Uh, it isn't. It's not inexpensive ice cream, but uh, it is uh, it's pretty good ice cream. So stop in if you're around, guys. We'll see ya.